NBC Sports welcomes you to CFA College Football. We're in Gainesville, Florida, where the unbeaten Florida Gators will take on the Auburn Tigers in a Southeastern Conference showdown. The weather is ideal for football. Temperature at 65 degrees, a slight breeze out of the Northeast. Folks, it's a very good day to hit somebody. We'll be right back. And here come the Gators. They have been magnificent in this setting. Since Steve Spurrier became coach, only the Seminoles of Florida State have broken through here in the swamp. Now they are matched against a team that has not been beaten in two years. A 17 game win streak, the longest in college football. It is Bobby Bowden's son, Terry Bowden, and the unbeaten Auburn Tigers. Tough to convert the third down situation against this defense. They have excellent pass rushers. Knicks, offensive line holds up. Diving catch for a first down at the 48 by Thomas Bailey. What a grab. They had him short and deep, and what he did is... ...were bailed out on a key third down pass last time. They need 12 yards this time. They like to screen out of this shotgun formation, Brenton. Do a nice job with it. They flare the backs and go over the middle, though, to the tight end, and he's wide open for a first down. <laughs> That's big number 82, Andy Fuller. He is a load. And he is a load, but he was wide open. One of the... Only 47 yards a game. But they haven't been tested by a team that makes a commitment to run. A second and eight inside handoff fake, and Nix keeps it, goes for six. Diving reception, touchdown, Bailey! Holy cow! Auburn's first drive results in six. Hey, folks, does this look like a 16-point underdog to you? Great execution. Of Have a good game. The week before you play this one. Now the number one Auburn fan in Gainesville brings his team up behind center. That will be Terry Dean. And a bobble snap, fumble. Auburn may have pounced on it. They did. It was Gary Walker. But it's still tough. Don't think so. Matt Hawkins <laughs> with Pat Sullivan, the son of the one-time Heisman Trophy winner, holding. 19-yard field goal for Hawkins. And Auburn moves ahead for Coach Terry Bowden by 10 points. 8.42 remaining in the first quarter. Chance to win the Writers Associated Press Poll. We have to come in here and beat the Florida Gators. They lead them right now by 10. And Auburn, folks, is playing like it's their Super Bowl. On third and long, Dean over the middle, Doreen. And there he is, the control receiver. First down for the Gators. See, what they, what they did is they went to quarter, quarter, quarter defense. There's number 20, Brian Robinson, make the play. The ball is at the Auburn 42. And the Gators are in Tiger territory for the first time on this overcast Saturday. Down the middle goes to Jackson. Open touchdown, Florida. Tigers on offense so far. I am. I think they're doing a very deliberate job of tacking things and changing up what they've been doing. What a great inside handoff that was, and they busted for a first down. Nice fake by Patrick Nix. Chiefs, 9 Eastern time on ABC. Broncos and the Chiefs. Now, we start the second quarter. Second and 17. Morrow and Beasley are alongside Nix from the shotgun over the middle. It's like stealing. They haven't defended number 82 yet today, and Andy Fuller makes it. 43-yarder. He missed the last one from this distance.
He'll get his leg on that one. He's one for two from that distance. Put three more on the board. It's 13-7. Step back on the end zone, end zone line. That's a safety. There he is. Look how close he is, Coach. He is close. He's got to get it off quick. Palmer, the deep man, he drives into the other side of the 50. Now, Sarola Palmer with speed. An alley. Ridden down at the 31-yard line by Chris Schilling. They have a real athlete in her. Is the lone running back. Four wide receivers for the Gators. The ball at the Auburn 31. Underneath to Taylor. Taylor with real estate is inside the 15-yard line. See, Brett, what they did that time in that kind of ball at the four-yard line. They got anything special, Coach? Well, they do have. I think I watched them in practice, but they're not in that formation, so they have a different thought. Taylor's the running back. Jackson, the receiver, gets the ball on the handoff. Jackson, touchdown, Florida. There's a little bit of trickery from Coach Spurrier. You know, I'm a believer that when they don't play well, it's my fault. And that's, hey, that's a great quality of a football coach. Take a little heat off that position. Well, the Gators with a one-point advantage right now. And Dean going back for more. Over the middle. Intercepted at the 30-yard line by Mr. Robinson. There's a penalty flag down. Robinson out of bounds at the 43. That's his second pick. But there is a penalty flag. The Tigers with only one timeout remaining. Nicks off a play fake. Throwing to the right is going to go long. Watt Sanders, great catcher That's interference at the 15-yard line. Call. The penalty will be enough to give them the first down. That was Fred Weary. They went to work on the youngster from Jacksonville. What? Definitely not happy about how things have unfolded here in the first half. One timeout left for Auburn. A minute 27. They'd love to have a fresh set of downs. The clock would stop on the first down. They'd love to get it right here. End around. Fake. Got it. They here got it comes. It. Sanders has got it. Sanders could score. He does. They were. But the fact that his father is pulling for Florida, can you believe that? Oh, I don't believe Jack. that. He says <laughs> he needs Florida please, to Jack. win to be undefeated. Yeah, we Bowden believe said, Oh, yeah, we believe that, well, listen, Jack. Wait till the play, and I'll tell you the rest oh, of the story. Jack, Jack. Here comes Dave. Hey. Hey. There's the third. It's Chris Schelling picking it off. Schelling, if he gets out of bounds, they can kick a field goal here. He steps out of bounds with 26, 26. seconds, and, and a face, face mask, mask is going to get tacked on. Oh, baby. Terry Dean is not seeing the coverage. See the this is a 25-yarder, Dick. Having missed the two-point conversion, this would be a one-point bonus for him. And they get it. Terry Bowden and the Auburn Tigers will take a 22-14 lead into the locker room. And Steve Spurrier will take some anger into the Florida locker room. The Gators are not accustomed to being behind at the half. And coming up, John Saunders with scores and highlights from around the country. And they cannot go to a bowl game. They cannot play for an SEC championship. They put it all on the line here today in Gainesville. First and ten off a of play fake. Over the middle, intercepted oh. that is the fourth interception and Fred Smith picks it off for Auburn. Wow, he was covered all the way. Look at Coach Bird. And Danny Werfel from Fort Walton enters the game. He has replaced Terry Dean who threw four interceptions and this has to be a miserable moment for the young man who had to watch in Auburn. Remember he grew up a big Auburn fan, was committed to go there until Steve Spurrier signed on as coach. He was the first signee for Steve Spurrier when he became head coach. But they had to get him out right now, and Danny Werfel 
in and he snaps off a completion to Chris Doring with his first pass of the game. And see the other footsteps. So they thought they could maybe get him to pump it up a little bit by offering him Rhett's old jersey number 33. Taylor said no thank you. I want my high school number 21. Another completion. Werfel completes his first three passes. This is to Aubrey Hill. Again. First and ten. The ball is at the 26-yard line. Werfel. End zone. Anthony. Anthony. Touchdown, Florida. Given Dean's rough outing against Auburn, you would think that Zyre might be picking up some Southern support today. I suppose I'd make Napoleon Kaufman of Washington the favorite right now, but we'll see. Here we are, Danny Werfel trying to rally the Gators. And what a beautiful pass over the middle, out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Ike Hilliard with his first catch of the day. Yeah, they ran that crossing pattern in man, and he couldn't chase him across the field. He Florida on the drive early in the fourth quarter, trailing by two points. Werfel complete to the 17-yard line, and it's Aubrey Hill. Who are the wide receivers? Decision-wise, defensively, do you go after him or you drop off and play zone? The rushing four and playing man-to-man. -man. And the underneath man is all alone for the touchdown. Hilliard. The Tigers have not taken advantage no, of all those, those turnovers. turnovers. That's why they find themselves four back right here. This is second and three. This is the toss to Davis. Davis on a cutback. Davis for the first down. And Davis still going across midfield to the 46-yard line. Yes, what sir. a run by the young man from South Carolina. And, you know, John, and with Florida struggling here, who knows? Maybe the Cornhuskers jump back to number one. We'll have to wait and see how that all unfolds. This is third and nine at the nine-minute mark. Nix over the middle to the tight end. First down, and he's going to break into a touchdown. Andy Fuller of Huntsville, Alabama, regains the lead for Auburn. Seven-yard loss, second and 17, inside of seven minutes. Warple. Jackson. Great catch at the 30-yard line and out of bounds. That's a that ball is very very difficult to throw Brent because he hit that right in between the crease and the zone so The Gators down by three 29 to 26 Report. Jackson Touchdown Florida And they need 15 yards for the first down. Need to get up to the 44-yard line. Wolfel's going to throw. He's going to put it up down the middle. It's intercepted. Robinson's got it. Get out. Robinson's Run over out of bounds. He's going to stop the clock. Out of bounds at the 45-yard line. They're not seeing that backside safety over there. They're trying to. Only a minute 20. So Nix. And they put three receivers off to the right. And they'll use the shotgun. Morrow blocking. Nix will use the middle. It's Sanders. Sanders down to the 42, but it's a first down. Right, and that'll stop the clock and they move the chains. This has been a great run for these Auburn Tigers. They got one more miracle left. It is fourth and ten. They need to get the first down. Nix got it. First down. Clock is stopped. 45 seconds. It's Thomas Bailey. How about that for a clutch throw? They're not finished yet. Inside the 30. The ball is at the Gators 28. 
43 seconds. No timeout. Knicks. Got an open man. Out of bounds. Willie Gosha from Fort Walton Beach, Florida. And the Tigers are knocking on the door. See, that's a mismatch. That Shouldn't have made that mistake. Now, first and goal. Here we go. Three wide receivers, no timeouts. 36 seconds to go for Auburn. The cardiac kids at it again. Over the middle, he got it the end zone. Touchdown, Auburn. Frank Sanders grabs another one. Holy cow, they never quit. No Six way, times like they did. You're just Absolutely not going to get away with no it. No way. Well, let that celebration start over in Alabama, folks. This has been some. It's going to be the double pass. Going to come back across field. <laughs> that was Eric Presser throwing it. Here it comes. They've done it again. Jack a root, take it, Jack. Well, Terry, congratulations, boy. You just keep on winning these these heart stoppers. Well, yeah, these guys are going to find a way to win. I don't think they're going to be about out now. If that's the number one team in the country, I think everybody knows who the number one team in the country is now. Go celebrate with your team. Let's go do it. One more. What a wonderful day. Financial need for Jack a root and Dick Vermeil. I'm Brett Musburger. It was a whale of a game. A win for Auburn, 36-33. The Cardiac Kids have done it again. So long, everybody.